today at three o'clock in Moscow in the Garden Ring, uh, the activists are organizing an event. These are the Russians who support us, the Ukrainians. The Ukrainian people here in Ottawa have to come out and support those Russian people who actually support us. When they cite these opinion polls, about 86% Russians supporting Putin, Putin owns these polls. The moment you start dividing up countries, there's no end of it in, 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 in Europe. Ukraine from Lugansk. From Lugansk. Lugansk. И мне очень больно, жалко, что все так происходит. Это война. Мне очень больно. Я очень переживаю. У вас друзей, друзья? Очень много друзей в России, в Украине. Много друзей. И поэтому мы очень болеем за них, за их судьбу. Шесть тысяч людей погибло. Да, да. И когда я вижу разгромленный Луганск, я не могу спокойно жить, потому что там наши друзья. Никакой войны. Нет, нам не нужна война. В нашем поколении живые следы последствия той войны. Господи, люди, россияне, украинцы, давайте подумаем и решим, что нам надо жить в мире, а не враждовать и ненавидеть друг друга. Чтобы был мир на Украине. И жили Россия и Украина дружно. Дуже просим и хотим все, как было и раньше. My name is Norman McQueen. I am here because my wife is a Ukrainian Canadian. We've been following events in uh, Russia with great interest, obviously. The assassination of Nemtsov recently was a heartbreak for anyone who believes in the virtues of freedom and democracy as regards Russian society. My wife was the organizer of today's event. I'm so proud of her. We came here to, I don't know, to show the Russians how we feel. There was an argument at my wife's church today. Oh, was it? Ukrainian Orthodox Church. Some people were saying, do you expect the Russians to change their minds? Do you expect Putin to take you seriously? Uh, we are here for our benefit, not for his, so that we can feel that we've done our part to show the Putin regime that, uh, that we're watching. And maybe that has an impact on him, maybe it doesn't, but it, it's good for our conscience. There is no need for uh, war in Europe, and uh, that's the message that we hope uh, Putin would uh, would hear and uh, would recognize. There were so many protests in uh, Moscow, in yes. all over the uh, Russia. There is yeah. regular people like us here, they don't want any war. They want no, they peace. don't. In fact, Perhaps one of them was the one of them was mm -hmm. shot, and his name was Nemtsov. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, what does a thinking person with a conscience do in the face of uh, of such obstinance? Do they uh, just give up, or do you uh, at least make uh, a gesture for the sake of your own conscience? You so it's nice to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you for coming. My name is Oksana, and um, last weekend we, uh, my husband and I, came to the Russian embassy to uh, bring the flowers to commemorate Boris Nemtsov who was assassinated uh, the Friday before and um, the next day on, on Sunday when we came back to the embassy we uh, realized that the flowers were gone and um, we came with the flag, we came with the flowers to commemorate uh, Boris Nemtsov again. Uh, and then I read on the internet that uh, today at three o'clock in Moscow in the Garden Ring, uh, the activists are organizing an event uh, and their slogans, there were three slogans, um, Stop War in Ukraine, release Nadezhda Savchenko and um, uh, commemorate Boris Nemtsov. These are the Russians who support uh, us, the Ukrainians. And I thought the Ukrainian people here in Ottawa have to come out and support those Russian people who actually support us. They're in Moscow today. They are taking a risk.
<laughs> unlike us. And what we can do, the biggest thing that we can do is not only to protest, because um, unfortunately uh, I'm afraid uh, the Kremlin and uh, its leader do not really care. But we want to unite together the Russian-speaking Ottawa uh, with the Ukrainian uh, people and with all the people who uh, do or do not speak the Russian language. Uh, we want to stop the prejudice of the Ukrainians against Russians and the Russians against the Ukrainians. Um, we want to bring the people together and we are very happy to see the uh, Polish brothers here and um, thank you very much for taking interest in our event and uh, thank you so much for coming. We are very happy to have you. Uh, I'm here um, as the uh, rest of our Ukrainians to uh, say Putin stop war and and like we feel uh, our hearts are with Ukraine and we feel um, pain for our people dying there so the, because the, of propaganda they um, don't want to know maybe or they really trust everything that uh, Kisilov say in Russia TV and um, this propaganda it just um, how to say provoke people maybe um, like haters between our nations but it's not true we uh, all we, we respect Russian people we love them like they're all the uh, like all the time they are welcome to Ukraine but we ha we want to be uh, independent we want our country to be independent you know one thing that we all agree you need to have the whole world Russia and Ukraine included to solve this problem exactly. and without it, it you know the West helps and tries to do as much as they can but it's the Russian people that have to decide how they want to live this is very cool and appropriate really <laughs> you know and it, it, Russia is their country and it's it, they have to choose but they have to have a right to choose too this is why we're supporting the, pe the voice of the people. By thousands of people in Moscow and all over the uh, 70, Russia saying we don't want any war, we are the brothers and sisters of Ukraine, stop the war. And mind and they the risk a lot, kind of, right? And those who came on the streets, uh -huh. this is only small, small representation who had enough courage to go. Exactly. How many of them will do not support this regime, but they would not go for, for many reasons, credible or, you know, I don't know. But this, this, this idea that Russians are the same as Putin, but it's not. By the way, when they cite this opinion polls, about 86% Russians supporting Putin, Putin owns these polls. <laughs> these polls mean nothing in a dictatorship. In any dictatorship, exactly. the rating, the popularity ra rates of, of these dictators are always huge. Yeah. I mean, why, why, why do we bother citing uh, <laughs> these numbers? My background is Ukrainian, first of all, and as a conscience person, I really su uh, suffer seeing what's happening in Russia and Ukraine and uh, Chechnya and so I really worry that uh, it can spread, you know, and uh, this is what we hope not uh, our activity, yes. yes, we have to we have to remind people what's going on. And that, what's uh, your name? Slava. Slava. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, my order is uh, Nippons and Miyohoji. Uh, my main practice is pray, beat a drum and pray. And that's Nippon's uh, on Myohoji. And that was a pray, Namu Myoho Rengikyo. We believe it's, uh, it unites the world. So when we pray, the God hears, people hears, health hears. It goes through all the uh, conditions of human mind. Oh, I, I chatted with her, so she thinks, uh, well, Putin has somebody.
Violence against civilians in Donbas, and uh, uh, that's why we all want peace. But that crowd believes it's the Russians who are the aggressors. But we do know, and if you are a journalist and if you follow the news, you do know that even Ukrainian officials told that there are no Russian troops in Donbas. Well, it was official statement. I am following very closely. People from Toronto, from Calgary, from uh, BC are waiting for our reports. They were supporting me like crazy these days. I was on Facebook with them till late at night. Uh, they have a similar meeting in uh, Toronto today and uh, in BC. Uh, in Calgary they had a meeting uh, last week. Today in Moscow uh, the group of activists organized the silent um, protest in the Garden Ring, uh, Sadova Kalitso. Uh, they're getting together there to commemorate Nemtsov, to uh, uh, free uh, Nadia Savchenko and most importantly uh, stop the war in Ukraine. And um, they're supporting us Ukrainians and uh, we are here today to support our uh, Russian brothers who are supporting us. Uh, we are here today to get together all the people of uh, auto of different nationalities who are being uh, united um, not by, by their ethnicity and not even by the language principle but solely by the um, but their by their wish to stop the war and uh, live in peace and thank you all so much for coming well you know there are people who think that uh, religion divides people there are bad forms of religion that can divide people, but if you really believe in truth and justice and love as being a fundamental dimension of God's life, then if you're sincere about your faith, you will always be brought to justice, to truth, to, to fairness. So I, all the people here, whether they are Russians or Ukrainians or, or Poles, everybody who at least claims to believe in God, would make an effort to to know the truth and the truth is that there's the Budapest Accord of, of, of 1994 which guarantees the territorial integrity of Ukraine and the reason that that accord is, is so important is because it precisely enables people of different backgrounds whether they are Russian or Ukrainian to live peacefully in the same country. The moment you start dividing up countries according to you know linguistic, national, ethnic differences, there's no end of it. In, 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 in Ukraine gave up its nuclear weapons and Ukraine should be protected. And the lesson, by the way, for, for everyone throughout the, the international community, I mean, the lesson is um, don't encourage countries to seek nuclear armament because of what happened to Ukraine. I mean, can anybody be surprised that a country like Iran is going to, to say, well, you know, uh, we, we want nuclear weapons because well, look what happened to Ukraine. This is horrible. So, so it's, it's in the interests of, of all of the world powers to defend Ukraine because Ukraine uh, gave up its, its nuclear weapons in exchange for a guarantee of territorial integrity. I pray and all the, the people here have in their hearts the prayer to the living God that all of the innocent in Ukraine and throughout the former Soviet Union, throughout Eastern Europe and the world, be protected from all aggression. That all of those people be granted divine wisdom that they be awakened to the truth, that they understand that injustice is never blessed. For you are the God of peace, the God of justice and truth. And we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen.